What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create a really cool flash transition that can be done very quickly and with very little effort. Let's get into it. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna need is a couple clips. I've got this first one, a DJ dancing in a club, bunch of lights flashing. I do see there is a screen replacement shot right here uh, that is intended to replace that screen, but we're gonna ignore that right now. Maybe do that in another tutorial some other time. The second clip I've got is from a concert I filmed. Uh, just a bunch of flashing lights, contrasting colors. It really intrigued me. So what we're gonna do is we need to set an in and out point obviously for what we want. I already did that by pressing I and O on my keyboard. I'm gonna hover over to where the flashing starts and a quick tip for you guys is hit M on your keyboard and it's gonna add a marker. That way I know where those flashes are. So when I drag this down, I can see right where the flashes are going to start flashing. The next thing I need to do is grab the DJ clip, bring it in my timeline. I'm gonna bring this up and bring this over here. What we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and cut. We're gonna cut that video clip. I am going to kind of shorten that a little bit. I'm gonna bring it up and over just like so. Something like that should be pretty good. I do like to just barely fade these by like a couple frames. We can play that through and you can see that is not what you are expecting. That's because we got to do one more step. We're gonna click on the video clip that's going to be our flashing. I'm gonna go over here and mess with the composite mode. Under the inspector on the right, if you click that, it's gonna bring this whole thing up. We're gonna go down here to the composite mode. There's a whole bunch of different ones in here that you can do. I like this one right here, so we're gonna click that. I think it's just a cool contrasting color. Now, before we go any further, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is ArtGrid. ArtGrid is one of the best places for high quality footage and really good overlays. This is not just some basic stock footage website where you can tell it's not shot very high quality. This is actually really good stuff being shot by filmmakers for filmmakers. I've never left their website not finding exactly what I need or something even better than I originally thought I needed. You get unlimited footage downloads and full coverage on any platform worldwide, plus you get a lifetime license. License. If you are looking to check out ArtGrid, use the link in the description below. It'll give you two extra free months when you sign up for a subscription plan. Thank you so much ArtGrid for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. So you could be done with this right here, but I'm actually gonna take this one step further. I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard. I'm gonna cut this, hit A to get my mouse back. I'm gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna make it something like that. I'm gonna bring this right here. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the top clip. We are gonna do some other kind of composite mode. But instead of the same one, let's do something different, like maybe difference. That's cool. I do like it that they're just popping contrasting colors. I think it's a nice little touch. I do like to blend it. Again, just a couple frames. Play that through. And yeah, I think that's super cool. Now this effect is not gonna be for every video, but I do think it looks really good in this one specifically. And this was something that we knocked out in just a couple of minutes. Again, do not be scared to try things on your own and change things from what I did. If you like this video and you learned something, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. It really does go a long way. If you're new here, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.